We also continue to follow some breaking news from overnight in Volusia County, where Daytona Beach police are investigating two reported shootings at different scenes. Everything happened in the past few hours on Sheridan Street and nearby Ingram Boulevard. And that's where we find News 6's Johnny Fernandez live this morning. And police really are tight lipped so far, Johnny. Yeah, that's right, Bridget. We've put in multiple calls and emails to the spokesperson with Daytona Beach Police, and at this moment, we have not heard back from them. But according to those reports, we know at least two people were shot in the two different locations you said. I want to show you guys some video from that scene overnight. Take a look at that video. Now, we watch as multiple police cruisers and officers swarm both of those scenes, blocking off roads at one point. And we know it appears at least one of those victims was shot right near the Police Athletic League Center. But at this point, we don't have any information on their conditions or if a dangerous gunman could be on the loose in this neighborhood right behind me. And we're coming back out live. Now, the scene right here, right behind me here on uh, Ingram Boulevard did clear up within the last hour. I'm going to be reaching back out to Daytona Beach Police to try to get more answers. And, of course, once I get any new information, I'll pass that information to you guys on air and, of course, online on ClickOrlando.com. Powered by News 6. David Bridget. Johnny Fernandez live in Daytona Beach. Thank you.